Hi, this explanation is for my students who uh, took the SIS um, part of the TJ application process on Saturday and any of them who aren't sure about the explanation for the math problem, um, I'm going to explain it here. I did type it up and so you should have seen the written explanation. You should have the uh, question in front of you. Uh, as I understand it, you have a person on a boat person has been injured, they're not very happy, and they are 400 miles from a helicopter, and the helicopter's pilot has to figure out when he has to leave in order to pick up this uh, injured person. There's 400 miles to travel. The helicopter goes at 150 miles per hour. It uses 1,200 uh, pounds of fuel per hour and the amount of fuel that he has is 6,600 pounds of fuel. Now he's got some constraints. One of the constraints is he must give himself a buffer of one hour's worth of fuel uh, and he needs 30 minutes to um, get the guy from the boat into the helicopter. So and the boat travels 10 miles per hour. So the question is, if this boat leaves this point at 5.30 a.m., when does a helicopter have to leave to come to a pickup point uh, to pick up the injured person? Now, you first have to figure out how much fuel the helicopter has to make this trip. And the amount of fuel, if he has a total of 6,600 uh, 600 pounds of fuel, and if you divide that by 1,200, which is the per hour uh, consumption of fuel, he's got what works out to be five and a half hours of fuel. But since one hour has to be a buffer and 30 minutes, is of uh, the pickup time for the injured party, then you actually only have four hours of flight time. Now, four hours of flight time, if he can go 150 miles an hour, four hours would get him 600 miles. Now, don't forget, and this may have happened to some students, you may have forgotten you have to both go out and fly back. So you really want to cut this in half and realize you can only go from your start point about 300 miles and that's where you have to do the pickup. Now, if this boat is traveling at 10 miles an hour and it's got to travel the other 100 miles, 100 miles divided by 10 miles per hour will get you uh, a 10 hour trip. So he's going to travel from 530 to 330 to reach the pickup point. Now, if this guy is traveling 300 miles to get to this pickup point and it takes him two hours to fly those 300 miles at the rate of 150 miles per hour, then to get there at 330, he has to leave here at 130. So you should have gotten 130. Um, I'm not sure why different people had trouble with this problem, but if you want to discuss it with me, give me a call and I'd be happy to uh, talk to you about the implications. Um, hope you did well and you take care.